to progress in your Christian walk, to move from a childish follower of Jesus to one of maturity, a good place to start would be to read Lewis Schaefer's He That Is Spiritual. He That is Spiritual is a book that at time definitely feels its age. The book was first published in 1918, and it reads like a book from 1918. So going into here that He That is Spiritual, I encourage you to be ready for a book that was written for a, a different time, for a different generation, for people that aren't dealing with a lot of the struggles of this postmodern world. Yet at the same time, He That is Spiritual is a book that is very simple. It is very basic. So it is a wonderful starting point. If you are looking for more out of your Christian life, a desire to unlock the secrets to Christian growth, although if I'm honest, there aren't real secrets to unlocking Christian growth. God makes it apparently clear in the scripture. Uh, Schaefer will help you, though, to make that walk into a mature Christianity. Schaefer begins his book with the obvious truth that we all are not guaranteed to grow into a mature Christian walk. Schaefer says that there are three classes of people in this world. There are the unsaved, and then there are the carnal or the babes in Christ, and then the third group of people is those who are spiritual, those who are mature. And not every Christian will grow from carnality to spirituality, from being a babe to being mature. What it requires is an active walk with Jesus Christ, an active walk with his Holy Spirit abiding within us. This is not something that you can just work really hard and strive to do on your own effort, but in order to be mature, we need to be moved and we need to be filled by the Holy Spirit. The majority of He That Is Spiritual is made up of three chapters. And since the majority of it is made up of three chapters, you can know that it's a really short book. This is a book for anybody to read. Of the majority of the book, these three chapters is on how to be filled with the Spirit. How to grow in the Spirit's grace and power and wisdom. Schaefer says that those who are spiritual first, there are two things we don't do. We do not grieve and we do not quench the Spirit. So there are these two chapters on negative actions that we do that stop or prevent our growth into spirituality or maturity. Obviously, allowing sin to take up residence in your life or to, to hold a place in your heart and mind will grieve the spirit and hinder your ability to be mature. So Schaefer talks about the importance of a regular cleansing of sin through confession. Because although we are saved, we still need to be cleansed from those daily sins, those sins that damage our relationship with the Holy Spirit so we can walk anew with God's Spirit every day. Next, Schaefer talks to us about why and how we quench the Holy Spirit. So he pleads with us to yield our lives to the will of God. He talks about the importance of sacrificing what we desire out of life in order to have what God desires for our lives. And we must always remember that when talking about God's will for our lives, that God's will is never mysterious, but God clearly reveals his will for every single person right in the Bible. I can tell you God's will for you right now. God's will is for you to be forgiving, loving, kind, compassionate, merciful, a witness for the gospel. And we quench the Holy Spirit when we refuse to follow God's clearly defined will for us. And finally, we're told to walk in the Spirit. And I love Schaefer's emphasis on this chapter on how our walk with Christ will always be a battle. It will always be a conflict between our, our old man, our old nature, according to the flesh, where we're naturally driven towards sin, and then our new nature with the Holy Spirit, where we desire to walk faithfully with Jesus Christ. We never arrive at a place where this conflict ends, so we need to make every day a day where we're going to say, today's the day I'm going to walk with the Holy Spirit. I'll end my review now with a quick quote uh, that I think really well pictures what it means to walk with the Spirit. True spirituality knows little of quietism. It is life more active, enlarged, and vital because it is energized by the limitless power of God. 
So the spiritual life is not the life free of temptation. It's not the life where you always know exactly the right thing to do at exactly the right time, but the spiritual life is the life where you are empowered by God to walk in his grace and in his truth. And if that's what you want for yourself, if you want to be someone who is spiritual, I would encourage you to read Lewis Schaefer's He That Is Spiritual. It's a great place to start. And if you enjoyed this review, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the Reverie's YouTube channel to stay connected to the wonderful world of Christian literature.